The following video is sponsored by MobileMaddenCoins.com. If you're looking for Madden coins on any console or platform, be sure to check out MobileMaddenCoins.com. Use code CLICKWID for a 10% discount. Hey, what is going on guys? Clickwood here back again with another Madden 17 video. Guys, today we have a brand new patch for Madden 17. It's going to fix a lot of the problems that we've been experiencing both in solo challenges and in online gameplay. This is being referred to as the 17 0.3 title update. Now, I don't know exactly know what that stands for, but uh, yeah, anyways, as you can see on your screen here, guys, one of the big things that was patched was that glitch that I talked about a few days ago where you could tell if your opponent was either running or passing. So this is a huge, huge update. Absolutely changes the game uh, in a better way, obviously. It's going to be, I mean, even if it did nothing else, I think people would be pretty happy that they changed that. Um, obviously, my opinion is that it should have never been in the game to begin with, and a lot of people missed the boat on that one, but hey... It happens, um, you know, it, games have errors when they're first launched, it happens, but uh, a couple other things that I think were pretty important in this patch, number one, obviously, again, we talked about the run-pass glitch, number two, strip tackle attempts made by the CPU are now reduced, meaning, I believe that this is exclusive to solo challenges, However, it might also be in gameplay depending on who's making the tackle. So like, for example, uh, if you as a user are not the one making a tackle in a head-to-head -head game, the computer may have previously been more likely to force a fumble than they are now. We don't know that for sure, but that's kind of how it's written. So we'll have to kind of look into that and see what, exactly what the, the reality is regarding that tune, uh, tuning update, I should say. Uh, and then... The third thing on here is that it fixed a bug which pre prematurely showed incoming rookie ratings in offline franchise. So uh, I guess for those of you that play a lot of franchise mode, it prematurely showed you all of their ratings in on or offline franchise mode. I don't know how many people are still playing just standard offline franchise mode, but I know there are a few people out there. There are definitely some YouTube series that I actually watch. Uh, so hopefully that'll be something that's nice to have, although I'm sure a lot of you guys took advantage of it when you were doing your franchise mode. Uh, but either way, guys, that has been the three major updates. However, there are a couple other things that Rex actually put out. And Rex, if you guys don't know, is the lead. I believe he's, he's uh, referred to as the lead developer. Um, no, creative director, excuse me, um, and, and a couple of other things that he noted as far as uh, updates to this game right now. Uh, number one, we've seen that uh, the force defender, so this is the guy who keeps the edge on the outside of runs, they have actually gotten a tuning update to be better. So supposedly outside runs are going to be a little bit less OP now, so that's good. So your stretches and things like that may not be quite as effective as they were before. That might also cause us to have a little bit of an issue when we're running that uh, solo challenge end around play that I was showing you guys out of the Wildcat. So uh, we'll have to go in and take a look at that. We'll have to see how that works and make sure that that's still effective. If not, we'll have to find another play for you guys and for myself to get through solo challenges without having to try hard. So uh, anyway, a couple other things that they updated here. Uh, they did update a glitch where there would be no icons that popped up when you did a play action pass. I know a lot of people were having some issues with that. And then there was also some updates to the nano detection system. So if you guys don't know, uh, there was a system put in place this year that reduced some of the A gap and B gap nano blitzes specifically, which allow defensive linemen and even linebackers to shoot through those gaps completely untouched. So uh, they did do an update to that. Hopefully it doesn't ruin the game because I actually thought that this was okay to begin with. But obviously uh, Rex and the team thought it deserved a little bit of an update. So they did do that. A couple other things, or I guess one more thing that I noticed uh, from other people's uh, mentioning things and from Rex too, I believe. Uh, he said that users were not getting a stamina penalty when the meter got depleted sometimes. There, there was a little bit of a glitch with that. So if your user had, or if your player had no stamina left or very little stamina left, they were still not getting a stamina penalty, meaning they weren't slowing down on the field. I didn't really experience that at all. Maybe you guys did. But uh, those are the updates as far as the ones that we know so far. I think those are going to be the major ones. There might be a couple other things here and there. But again, I think that this is a, a really nice improvement. 
Hopefully we experience some better online gameplay. Hopefully the updates that they make don't ruin other aspects of the game. But let me know in the comments section below, guys. Are there other errors that you saw in the game that you ones that people talked about were really the uh, run pass glitch and then the um, uh, obviously the outside runs and then the last one uh, was the solo challenge fumbling. So I think that they addressed all three of those and a couple other things as well. So I think they're doing their job. Hopefully you guys like this a little bit better. Um, I think I'm looking forward to it. So hopefully you guys get a good experience. Let me know in the comments section below though, like I said, if there were other things and be sure to drop a like on this video. Subscribe to the channel if you're new and I will talk to you guys again soon.